Hello everyone and um, this is Sylvia from Le Journal de Sylvie. Thank you for stopping by. Uh, today I would like to share with you my uh, travel setup and what I have in my travel pouch for my upcoming trip to Egypt, one month visiting historical sites and ancient Egypt temples. So granted this uh, setup is customized for that purpose and for that duration and for the theme of this trip, this is not a uh, permanent setup of my pouch. So without further ado, let's start. So over here I have my blue telephonic, which um, from the outside I have four pins of um, different uh, collections from Leonardo da Vinci paintings and sketches. Um, if you follow my Instagram account, you'll probably know I love, love, love art. And on the back, Sorry for that noise. I have two more of his uh, Da Vinci sketches. So this uh, came as a set from Amazon. Of course, I don't mind replacing or adding to it if I collect more souvenirs from anywhere. Um, also for more pendants, I have over here my Little Mermaid from an old bracelet that I had and I always liked the way it looked. And over here, over here I have my uh, vintage clock pendant which I always keep something that symbolizes time uh, so I believe it's a precious gift we have. Uh, that's for the outside decoration and from the outside I only have uh, the pens and this little small pouch uh, which came in a set of four and I keep my reading glasses in it which I'm wearing right now and because it fits perfectly it doesn't fall and over here I have the uh, my scissors that I use when traveling and so far it works very good it came actually in a set of two so it was a good deal, uh, but I'm uh, choosing the theme, the yellow one for this trip. I over here have three uh, Sharpie markers, um, bronze, silver and gold, which I found it very relevant to the theme of visiting um, museums full of antiquities, old kingdoms and temples. They look very um, vintage uh, in that regard. and. One a Uniball white marker, which works very fine with me. Signo UM153 works very fine with me when I write on darker backgrounds or craft paper. Okay, and this is my pen collection, which I have it uh, some for sketches, um, one one millimeter, which is kind of like a, um, a black marker or very thick, 0.3 for sketches and 0.45 and 0.5 for um, writing. So um, the good thing um, about this setup also is that I don't keep anything in the outside pockets, maybe just one small um, pouch here. I don't know, you never know when you use it or collect stuff in it. Uh, but other than this, I don't keep anything outside and that is because I don't want to worry if this is flipped or change direction that anything will fall from it. So. There is no problem with the pens, of course, because they are clipped. So I don't keep any small details in the outside pocket for that purpose. Now let's move for the inside. It's very basic. On the top I have here the first thing, which is my um, small pouch as well. Same set of my reading glasses. And for in this I keep a, a very, very useful kit in journaling. The compass set the geometry set and it helps me a lot drawing and making nice spreads. So I have here my compass, I have um, a straight ruler with centimeters and inches with a small magnifying glass, triangular, um, the 0.7 pencil, um, a razor, and all of those uh, shapes, which is, they are very lightweight. They are helping me to draw if I want to draw half a circle or a pyramid and so on. So originally this uh, set that I got from Amazon and I, um, I'll add the description below. Okay. It originally came um, in a box like this from Amazon, but of course, um, happily, I... Um, I can add all of this in this small lightweight pouch. So I'll keep this here, I put it this way. So inside here, it's very simple, four pockets and the middle. So the middle, I'll start by the middle. Let me put this like this, so maybe we can. So the middle for this particular trip, I picked two um, 
I picked the Wandering um, Notebook, which is a um, very reliable brand. They have genu genuine leather. Um, it endures and I think this is a good choice to um, keep it for you know a dusty environment um, visiting those historical sites in the middle of nowhere it has this little leather um, piece over here which is it can keep one or two pens and yeah I decided to take this one with me this time and I'm not gonna do a flip through because I did pre-decorate some of the spreads uh, but I will save this to later I just want to show you the setup and what I am keeping for that trip so over here I have three pockets and a big uh, slot over here that I'm keeping empty in case I collect stuff I don't want to stuff uh, the notebook and then not have a place to add receipts or tickets I do have three um, washi uh, tape samples that follow the theme of uh, vintage travel and uh, calendar, train tickets and um, mail and from my entire collection I picked um, those 12 washi tape samples and a quick information so you can follow with me the theme of my trip uh, a lot of the um, current historical sites been discovered in the late 1700s, 1800s and early 1900s by a collaboration between British and French expeditions and the Egyptian authorities. So that era is pretty much the theme that I'm keeping, which is the vintage trains and so on. So in the first, um, the entire setup is two binders and one insert. I may take one for a backup, but for now I have one insert. So the first binder is the plastic one, which is from Traveler's Company Notebook. I keep my uh, writing board and a couple of uh, labels sheet that I always, always find useful. And I keep it over here. And the second binder, I have here the clip, I'll leave this aside now, is kind of some sort of a fabric. I talked about this one in my previous uh, bullet journal setup. I have the blue. Uh, this one is again with the color theme of desert and old temple, so I picked the yellow. I have a couple of clips here, you never know. But I kept this envelope slot empty again for stuff that I will collect. And same for the three pocket slots. And then comes my insert, which I um, picked my favorite type of insert from Traveler's Company, which is the craft. As you can see, I pre-decorated the cover with vintage stickers and uh, air balloon and uh, some theme. I'm happy with the way it came. And the back just stamped the compass. Now, um, I'm not gonna go through the pre-decorated sheets, so I don't take much of time. However, um, I'm just gonna share with you the first page. I usually um, have here this vintage calendar, 1916, perfect. And you will notice that I have my entire insert with burned type of edges, um, like it's dusty or burned, following the same concept. I usually save this uh, page in any traveler insert in any travel or trip insert for my favorite picture from the entire trip and over here I have this which I cut from the box that uh, this notebook came from so this is the brand wandering and I found it very nice for an introduction page and this is the only first page that I'm gonna share with you which is the um, main page for my insert um, again there is a lot of french versus egyptian antiquities because antiquities because they had a really big role in discovering lots of the um, stuff we're gonna be visiting um, at the very end i have uh, here the traveler's notebook uh, kind of taken from their brochure and i always have the habit um, to keep the uh, label that identifies what type of insert which is my favorite one craft paper blank 64 pages and over here is the back of that uh, fabric uh, zipper pouch and it has here one small cheat sheet <laughs> Uh, paper that I keep nothing decorated or anything but this is my travel journal guide to remind myself what do I need to journal about so I need to um, and I did a little research about that and those are the main points that I came up with before the trip any things we want to do over there the places we're planning to visit accommodation transportation contacts and of course the trip checklist 
As for during the trip, uh, we want to make sure that I want to journal about the sites, the adventures, uh, the food, the people, and anything we discovered over there unique. And finally, um, I want to talk about what we learned, anything that we kind of uh, reflect on, the memories, the new findings, and so on. So this is a small guide, a tip from um, that I found very useful to, you know, know what to write about. And this is the back of the very first plastic um, uh, binder, folder, and it has a couple of um, Egyptian pans, um, some money from that. And in this pocket, I only have one vintage envelope. You never know. I always find envelopes very useful with a historical map and um, a card that always come with any traveler notebooks from this brand wandering and so the adventure begins so i kept it because it's their signature so as i mentioned it's two binders and one insert and that's pretty much it for my traveler's notebook very well so over here we have four pockets very simple so really um Pocket number one, I keep two glue sticks, one staple, two staples, some tickets or anything. It's always useful, this little size. And the second pocket, I keep this little box, Adventure Awaits. I like the drawing, the quality is okay, but it's okay. And over here, I have the smaller size of um, vintage travel stickers air balloons, uh, some of the uh, travelers company stamp um, labels, some uh, ancient Egyptian stickers that I will tell you in a minute where I bring them from and more of my favorite vintage um, travel. Get this one over here. And so on with the same theme. Uh, so those are small size, easy to decorate my spreads, don't take time to do it. Here over here, adventure. More ancient Egyptian stickers and I have here a small clip. And you know, like little size, that it's kind of easier to keep it all in one box. So, so this was the box where I keep my small size stickers. Pocket, sorry. Pocket number three, I have here three more uh, small lightweight stickers that I found in Amazon about Egyptian art and Egyptian lifestyle and they are less than two dollars each and this one has 16, this one has 44 and just a quick view, I found it very beautiful that I found the theme I'm, I'm relating to and again because I don't know what I'm gonna find over there and I want to make sure that I decorate my spreads um, the way I like in this exciting trip. You can add more stickers and you can never have enough of some. Okay, So those are the three stickers in the third pocket along with this little um, accordion-like accordion -like folder and I got inspired uh, by Sky Bambi um, for this type of folder. I love her work, she's amazing and it's very compacted lightweight so I really recommend this. I got it. I'll try to find if I can find the link. So over here I have my name and it's this that um, pockets that spreads over here. So I'm gonna take you really quick through this so you can maybe get inspired with what type of tickets, um, stickers I get. So road trip, travel memories, um, I even have best moments, a vintage postcard, you can tell it's all in the same theme. I even have this um, vintage checklist map, itinerary, luggage and so on. So this ephemera are in the first pocket over here. Then I have a few vintage letter writing and more of the traveler stickers of... Um, I picked the colors that are desert Nile style and I even found a sticker with the name of the city we we're going to be visiting in South Egypt, Luxor, which has most of the historical sites. Um, I always keep those craft labels. I found them very useful. 
uh, in uh, decorating the spreads. I have here more, a couple of two, couple of uh, envelopes. Um, as I mentioned, envelopes are always useful, and some vintage cards over here with the theme of historical maps and so on. And finally, some of my research about the trip I made. So, real quick information I wanted to share with you. First, this is something that I found in the Natural Science Museum brochure, so I kept it. I always keep craft tags. And um, over here, I um, um, would like to share with you that Napoleon Bonaparte, when he was in Egypt for three years, he commended his campaign to write an encyclopedia about Egypt, and it's a very, very famous one. So many volumes, and it's very famous with the drawings they had in it. It's called Description of Egypt or La Description de l'Egypte, and it's fantastic. I do have some posts in my Instagram about pages from that encyclopedia that I found online. So I printed the cover of one of those encyclopedias and the front page of those books. And finally, another story, small story that I would like to share. This is a um, painting for a temple that we're planning to visit. And it's been uh, painted by some of the Orientalism type of theme. And um, this is a rare picture that my mom gave me when this temple was always flooding. You can tell half of it is beneath water. And now the UNESCO moved it stone by stone to another island. And I want to have the two pictures compared to each other. So I think this is very exciting. Sorry if this became some small National Geographic type of information, but I love this type of things and it's nice to share with each other the knowledge. And in my final pocket, I have over here my HP uh, Sprocket Pocket Printer, uh, three refill papers, and the charger to charge that um, printer. Pictures are okay, depends on the picture really. It's not the best, uh, but that's another topic. So this is pretty much it for my travel setup and the things I'm collecting for my one month trip to visit the historical sites of ancient Egypt. Well, uh, thank you for watching till the end and uh, please share any tips or comments and let me know if you're interested to see the post um, trip flip through and happy journaling. See you next time.